Hi friends, for those who don't know me, my name is Miss Jordan and I am the Youth Education Coordinator at MOA. Thank you so much for joining MOA's first virtual mini master's program. I'm so excited that we were able to continue this program at this time. In keeping with our normal mini master's setup, we will be starting today off with in our discussion. Then we'll follow with story time and we'll end our program with an art project. In this first video, we will both have our art discussion and story time. And then on our website, there will be a second video link that will have our project in it. So let's start off with our art discussion. Today, we'll be talking about one of my favorite artists in our collection. Today, we'll be talking about Romano Johnson's Walk Style Blue Jackson. Now let's take a second and look at this painting. What do we see? Do we see a lot of colors? I see pinks and reds and blues and whites and blacks. What about you? As for shapes, I see a lot of circles and lines. What else do we see? One thing that I love about this painting that is hard to tell with this photo is that it has a ton of texture on it. If we look up closer by his hairline and some of those circles, we can tell that there's a little bit of a sparkle. In fact, this whole painting is pretty much covered in glitter. Um, that's one of the reasons why I love this painting so much. It's so fun. Who doesn't love a painting that's covered in glitter? Also, let's talk about the subject of this painting. It is a portrait, and it is definitely not a realistic portrait in the sense. Romano Johnson definitely uses a loose interpretation in this contemporary style. Now, we might be asking, how could this possibly relate to a story that we'll be reading today? Well, let's dive into our story, and then we'll come back to our painting and see if we can make some more of those connections. Today, we'll be reading Rudy and Claude, Splash into Art by Adam McHeffrey. Again, this is written and illustrated by Adam McHeffrey, and it is from Two Lines Publishing Company. We are able to read this book through Amazon's Kindle free download program, and all the ebooks we'll be reading through our virtual mini master's program will be on the free ebook list. Um, if anyone is curious about Two Lines, Two Lines Publishing House and more of that copyright information, it will be on this page. So let's start on our story. That looks interesting. What you're working on, Claude? Shh, quiet, Rudy. I'm making art. Oh, art. But wait, what is art? It is something a mouse like you wouldn't understand. See, I'm a true artist and I have skill and imagination. I have skill. I can smell garbage a mile away, and I have imagination. Could I be a true artist? Ha! Huh, you, an artist? That's hard to imagine, but okay, Rudy, if you insist, try to paint a self-portrait. A self-portrait is a picture that you paint of yourself. Find some art place and start painting. A self-portrait? Huh. Just gotta paint myself. Easy. Oh no, that doesn't look like me at all. Try a still life. A still life is when you paint some things that you can put on a table, like this. I'll paint a soup can. I guess that's a little better. But who would ever want to look at a can of soup? Try a landscape, Rudy. That's a painting of mountains, or the beach, or a lake, or just about anything outside of nature. Good idea, Claude. That's a beautiful lake right there in the city. I'll take a walk and see what I can paint. Hong Kong, ah! Landscapes are not for me. Now what are you working on? That looks like something I could do. This is found art. That's when you take objects you find and make something new. I'm going to find some objects and try to make my own found art. Ta-da! All this hard work is really making me hungry. This garbage sure smells delicious. Maybe I'll just have a quick nibble. How's your found art sculpture coming along? Oh, Claude, I ate it. I'll never be a true artist. Rudy, why don't you borrow this book full of true artists? It will give you some new ideas. That's it. I just need the right look. Now I can really make a masterpiece. And soon I'll be a true R, 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 ah, splat. Ah. Gah, whoa, ouch, what have I done? I've made a huge mess. 
I'm a total failure. I'll never stand, understand art. Never. What is art? Rudy, this is art. You've got color and movement. You've got feeling and emotion. I do. Yes, you've just made a great painting. Does that mean I'm a true artist? Yes, a true artist. The end. Now let's take a second and look back at Romano Johnson's piece and see if we can make some of these connections. Okay, now let's come back to our painting by Romano Johnson and see if we can make any connections to our story. In the end, Claude told Rudy that his painting had color and emotion. I think we can say that Johnson has both of those elements in his painting as well. He also said that there was movement and creativity, and I think both of those are expressed in this painting too. Now, let's see if there's any other connections we can make. One fun thing about this painting is Romano Johnson was a self-taught artist, so he was able to take some of these principles of art and apply them to his paintings. Now, let's go on to our art project. Now that our art discussion and story time is over, it'll be time to click back on our website and open up that second video to do our art project. You will also see a downloadable PDF that will have our supply list as well as a printable to use in our project. Um, at this time, MOA is also offering other activities, so please visit our website, wisconsinart.org, to see other fun things happening during this time. Thank you so much for joining in this first part of the video, and I'm excited to see you join along in the next one. Thank you.